someone special in the City Line kitchen today. It's food writer and top chef Canada judge Chris Nettles. <laughs> They're excited. They are. That's They're excellent. excited. Well, I'm excited too because you're here to share uh, some recipes from your new book. It's called Cook It Wild, uh, and it's absolutely beautiful. The wild part. You got to tell me what this is about. Listen, we live in the most beautiful country on earth. So many Canadians are going out into the wild, whether yes. they're backpacking, paddling, whether they're going to a cottage or even just to their local park. Right. People are out in these beautiful settings. Maybe there's a fire, there's stars overhead. Yeah. So many of us are eating survivalist, like dehydrated <laughs> food. There's something Hot wrong dogs. with this picture. Yeah. Cook It Wild is my recipes and a technique, a whole process for bringing spectacular food out into the wilderness, but it's all make ahead or prep ahead. Good. So more than half of the recipes in the book take less than 10 minutes of hands-on time at camp. I love that. So I like when you say things like cottage or cabin, but when you say camping, audience, what, what, what happens to me? I start, <laughs> I'm like, she's like this, she knows, because I talked to them before the show. So camping is not my thing, but anytime you were going out, and I think during the pandemic, we all learned how gorgeous, if you're in Ontario, if you're in British Columbia, like you learned how gorgeous Gorgeous your province is. Even just to get to the park. Even just to go is, to the local park it. with the dog and the family. So you, we're going to do a few recipes that you can prep ahead and take with you. Uh, you know, little little footprint. You don't want to leave too much of a footprint when Absolutely. you go out. So let's start with your first one. Red cabbage salad. It's roasted red cabbage salad. Okay. It's got some like burnt tomatoes, honey, balsamic. It's yeah. gorgeous. Lots of butter, of course. So that is the beautiful final shot there that we're going to be making. And so it looks like something that you would not necessarily bring with you if you were out there in the wilderness and out there uh, in the wild. So how do we make it the sort of meal we can take with us? So all this we do at home. We've got red cabbage here. I'm going to get you to do it, actually. Oh, that's right. Mind. I forgot I had to work. Why not? Let's get Go you to ahead. work. What do I got to do? It's not hard. All right. So we We've got some honey, balsamic vinegar, salt, and raisins. I'm gonna you want get it you in to here? Dump those in there. Okay. Uh, I'm there's a little spare you can get that out of there. Okay, so what are we doing right now with the cabbage? Are we making it so that it's 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 gonna last a little bit longer with some of these? It will last three, four days in a cooler. Oh, very um, nice. So we're wrapping it up. We'll put it in a zip top bag, preferably All of a silicone. This? All of that. That's okay. not that much. It's that's kosher salt. Much. Okay. Um, and those raisins are gonna get plump and juicy at camp when we put them on a fire. Okay. So you've got them all in. Uh, let's mix them up with the tongs. Usually uh, my job, um, chef, is to do the cleaning up, and I feel like you've got some cleaning up to do. I've got some work to do, don't I? Yeah, that's don't supposed I. to all go to the back. All right, all right, here I go. The here director I go. Here likes I go. Here it I go. when the area here is a bit clean. I'm here not going to be the only one working here. I don't have my dish gloves. <laughs> Come on. That's perfect. That's all okay. we need. Good so stuff. what we're going to do, we're going to lay some oranges, about six orange slices on the foil here. Do you just want them in a row? Right down the middle, in a row. Well, this is good, but what are the oranges doing? So what they're going to do, when this goes, that's perfect. When this that's goes good. on the fire or the barbecue, they're yeah. going to just sizzle and caramelize. The sugars are going to sweeten. Okay. We're going to put the cabbage on top now. Okay. All right. Let's go, cabbage. There you go. So all the way down. All the way down. Oh, very See, nice. that looks pretty decent already. Not bad, eh? There you go. Well done. Okay. I'm not washing that. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Butter. We want butter on top. You just kind of put a piece here and there. Pass me this. this so this is, is going to be delicious. It's we got decent. butter. We got, I mean, I'm making it, so obviously it's a winner. I'm going to jump. There you go. Exactly. Right? So that is almost all of the prep. Now, all we have to do is wrap that up. I'm going to get you to, uh, to just kind of fold that close. Like this? Yes. Wow, this is like you're giving me no help here. I'm really not helping you you're at all. You're literally just watching. Like, I'm sweating. Hard work. I'm sweating it's a hard bit. Work. Okay, so I wrap it like this. Exactly, you're gonna fold it up. Fold here, it like I'll this. Jump in there too. Thanks! Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Teamwork makes a dream work. Okay. Uh, we'll get the sides. Oh, like a pretty little package. There you go, it's like a big, long, weird. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's cooking. <laughs> so we're going to stick this in like a zip top bag. This goes in our cooler. We bring that camping. When we get camping, yes. we throw it on our grill. Oh, nice. It's really hot. I'm going to try not to singe my eyebrows here. <laughs> Be careful. That goes on the grill Be just careful. like that. <laughs> there we go. And then when it's done, yeah. that takes 25 minutes or so. We get this. We toss Check it. Check that out. We toss it with hazelnuts, with feta cheese. It. Well I done. Made it. <laughs> 
beautiful. And not your regular camping food, right? Not your regular camping Very food. Very nice. Okay, what are we gonna make now? You actually have something called a bikini sandwich. Yes. Uh, Do we need to put on our bikini? Well, the wardrobe is a bit of a problem here. No, it's <laughs> named after a concert hall, the Bikini Concert Hall in Barcelona. These are Spanish grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh. They're thin, they're decadent, there's cheese, there's ham, and you bring them like this in your cooler okay. and you throw them in a pan on a grill however you want preferably you unwrap them first yes and then you get these spectacular sandwiches that are melty and gooey and delicious for all ages you can also if you want you can shave a black truffle inside oh my god which is at edulis restaurant here in toronto that's what they do this is where this recipe is from yeah it is such beautiful camping food and it goes from your pack to your plate in 10 minutes. An elevated grilled cheese. I'm all about that. So we've had a beautiful sort of salad. We've had a gorgeous sandwich. Now we're a little parched. I'm feeling thirsty. I'm feeling thirsty. Is there a thirsty. drink around I, we, here? We may have a drink. Okay. Uh, so cocktails. Who doesn't love a beautiful cocktail? I love a cocktail. But we've got them. But you don't want to bring your bottles and your bar kit camping. So right. you make them at home. You better not bring your whole bar kit. I know, I know. I mean, How some bougie is that? Can you imagine? Well, yeah. Outside the tent, you got your martini uh, shaker going? That would be alright. Okay. Um, so we have slushy paper planes here. They're made at home. Okay. Prep. You bring them in a vacuum bottle or in your cooler or whatever. Yeah. They're slushy. They're oh boozy. Oh my gosh. I don't, they're know what a sweet. I don't know what a paper plane is. So a paper plane is like Italian bitters. And here, I'm going to Give this a shake. That'll, yeah, uh, yeah that'll go for it. Break it up a little bit. Italian bitters, there's lemon juice, okay. um, amaro, and it's just like refreshing. A uh, little sweet, little sour. Here's to not camping, Cheers. but going to a cottage <laughs> with indoor plumbing. I like that a it's lot. All right. That is so full of flavor. But I feel like I need to share some of that sandwich. Is anyone hungry in the audience? You're about to make okay. some friends. I think so. Do you mind, Chef? Please do. Is it okay? Okay. So this is fantastic having you here today. I love to see uh, that you've been doing. Do you guys mind if I touch it with my fingers? I promise. It's like, <laughs> they're like, no. <laughs> no, not touching it now. Um, congratulations and thank you for joining us on City.